Hello, my name is Marcia Johnson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Together with my grandnieces and nephew, Allie, Ashley, and Ryan, we are Marcia's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely To A Wild Rose card. To make this card, you need the To A Wild Rose stamp set, the Wild Rose dies, and these can be purchased as a bundle and um, you save 10% when you purchase them as a bundle and you can purchase them at our online store marshascrafts.stampinup.net we would appreciate any business for stamp pads we're going to use soft suede pear pizzazz blushing bride and the new rococo rose which is becoming one of my favorites let's get started i'm going to need a piece of paper to stamp off on I'll be bringing in my piercing mat because this is a photopolymer stamp and these are the pieces that I'm going to be stamping on and as usual any dimensions and the supplies required to make these cards will be found below the video. Okay we're going to get started with some soft suede. This is a three-step stamp. We're going to start with there are three images for the flower, a outline image, um, a slightly less detailed image and then a sort of a background one. And I find it very easy to line up this kind of squarish petal and this little petal down here. And I just don't have any problems at all with that. Some people mark their stamps, some people mark their blocks, but I really don't have any problem with it. And then for the leaves, we also have three layers. We've got the outline layer. We have a slightly detailed layer, and then we have a background layer. And we'll be using all three of those also. Okay, for the detail stamp, the outline stamp, we're going to be using, as I said, soft suede. I'm going to stamp three of the flowers. I'm going to use that again in a minute. Um, let's also stamp four of the leaves. Put those aside for a minute. And we're done with the detail leaf punch. We're also going to put a flower on the inside of our card and on our envelope. So let's do those now. Also using the soft suede. Then we're going to take our crumb cake layer and I'm going to make sort of my own DSP with this and I'm going to be stamping off. This layer is, yeah, crumb cake and you probably could just use crumb cake ink but I have the soft suede here so I thought, uh, I'll just stamp off and use it. So stamp off and then stamp. Oh, and I will use my leaf a little bit more. Okay, so do the same thing, stamp off. We're just gonna fill in the spaces with this leaf. That should be it for our outline stamps and for our soft suede. We'll do our leaves next. And they're done in pear pizzazz. First, I'm going to use the least detailed stamp, which is like, um, it's the smoothest looking of the bunch. I'm going to ink it up in pear pizzazz, stamp off, and then stamp on my leaves. And they are fairly easy to line up. And even if you don't line them up exactly perfectly, still looks good. So we'll do that for all four leaves. And then we'll take the medium detailed leaf and we'll, we'll do that straight again with pear pizzazz. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, that should be it for our pear pizzazz. For the flowers, I'm using two colors. I'm using Blushing Bride and the new Rococo Rose. So first, let's do our Blushing Bride. You could do all your flowers the same if you wanted to. I, I just was fooling around and, and kind of like the way they look. I'm going to use my less detailed background stamp first, and I'm using it in Blushing Bride and I'm going to stamp off and then lining up that little, this petal and that petal, I'm going to stamp it down. It's really not very hard. And the next one, I'm gonna do the same thing, stamp off my Blushing Bride and line it up, stamp it down. And this third flower, I'm gonna use the Blushing Bride full strength. So no stamping off. 
Then I'm gonna bring in my envelope and I'm going to stamp off and do the Blushing Bride. And again, I'm lining up with that petal that I like. And for the inside of a card, same thing. Stamp off and line it up. I'm bringing back in our other flowers and we're going to use the more detailed stamp. And the first one I'm going to do full strength in Blushing Bride. All right, let's bring out our Rococo Rose and we'll stamp. That's it. And one more. It really is pretty. And then we'll do our envelope and the inside of our card. Okay, that's it for our stamping. Next, you would do some big shot work or whatever cutting device you have. So we bring this back in. And from our dies, we would select this one and the leaf one. And these new dies are really easy to line up. They just line up with the very edges of your pattern. You don't have to fool around with it like you used to. It's really pretty nice. Through the miracle of YouTube, I already have it done. So I've already got these flowers cut out. And before I assemble, I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to snip apart all of my leaves. I'm just going to cut them all into individual pieces. Okay, now we'll assemble our card. First thing, we're going to take our soft suede card base. And as usual, I put the inside in. Just going to use glue. Okay, then we're going to take this Rococo Rose layer and put it on the front. Then we're going to take our crumb cake piece and before we put it on, we're going to take some of this lovely ribbon. I think it's called scallop edge ribbon or something like that. And some scotch tape. And we're going to put it at the bottom of the card. Okay, wrap it around, keeping it straight. Okay, actually that, I think it would have been better to put this down with some kind of a adhesive. So we're gonna do that, just a second. Pull it off and do it over. That looks much better. Okay, now we'll put that down on the front of our card. Next, we're gonna place our flowers. And just decide however you like them. I kinda like the lightest one in front, so I'm gonna put one here, one about here, and one here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the first one down with glue, and I'm just gonna glue in the center because I'm gonna tuck those leaves in on the edges. Then this one I'm going to put down also with glue on top of the other one. And the third one I'm going to put on with dimensionals. Again, mostly in the center. Well, actually totally in the center. I'm going to use three of them just right in the center. Okay, then I'm going to place my leaves around. Okay, I think I like that. And I'll just attach them down with a little touch of glue at the bottom slide them under. Okay, next I have a little bow that I've tied of the same ribbon. I'm going to attach that with glue dots right about there. And the very last thing I'm going to do is put on some pearls and I just have some big ones left so we're going to use the big ones. Maybe one right about here, one over here, and one up at the top. Okay, and that's our card. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you could give us a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe to our channel and, and share it with somebody. That would be very nice. Here's the envelope. And here's the one I made before. That's it for today. Hope you have a great one and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.